What's going on everyone? I'm Tao and welcome to a day in the life of an 18 year old cybersecurity professional. Let's get started. So a quick office tour, desk tour, if you will. We have Designing Building a Security Operations Center book by David Nathans. And I thought it was really good. And I've been reading through it right now again. And it is very useful as far as developing a security program, which is pretty much what I'm doing. Got a quart of water and a Nutanix water bottle, not sponsored video, but they are really good software. If you want to check them out, they have a free community edition. Got my journal and then a commentary, the Book of Romans, the Bible, um, Netgear Hotspot, AirPods Pro, made a little Lego stand, just so many figures on there for my phone, but I'm using that right now, so I can't have it sitting up there, but that's how I just have my phone set up in case I need to see anything on there. Playing on the Dell keyboard, Logitech G602 wireless mouse, a 13 inch Dell Latitude 3310 laptop and two Dell 27 inch monitors. Over here got another quart of water in a bottle that's conveniently branded towel from Walmart. It's not an actual collaboration or anything. I'm not big enough for that kind of thing with people yet. Salt lamp my mom gave me and a Dell dock over here. All right guys, so this is my office pretty much. Got a chair right there and some two other chairs right there if any other guests need to come in here. Put my bag over here and my lunch right there. Um, yeah, this is pretty much my whole office, so. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoy this video and if you have any questions about what my day is like, feel free to drop them in the comments below if there's anything that's not covered very clearly. It's about 10.35, so it's getting pretty close to lunch. I did wait a little while to film this introduction and I've been doing some work so far. Right now, I've been working on setting up a scanner for our company so that way we can scan our devices on the network for vulnerabilities and stuff. It's called OpenVAS, Open V-A-S. If you wanna check that out, um, just Google it. It's free open source vulnerability scanner. I've been working on setting that up so that's what I'm gonna be doing until about 11 o'clock, which is when I usually eat lunch. So I'll probably try and throw some time-lapse action in here, just if you wanna see some of what I'm doing. Also, I hope this gives you a pretty good idea of what a day in the life of a cybersecurity professional can look like. Let's go. everybody so I'm done with my little bit of work um, since I've introduced you to this video I'm still working on that green ball security assistant um, open bass system that I'm trying to set up right now as you can see I got it working on the machine when I RDP into it the only issue is whenever I try to access it on this machine via its internal IP which I'm not going to show you just for uh, security reasons I get this error, it says the request contained an unknown or invalid host header if you're trying to access the GSA. Via host name or pro a proxy, make sure GSA is set up to allow it. So there was a quick and easy fix for this back in 
open bath seven, but that has since been deprecated, which means now I have to find a new fix for this, um, figure out how to get it working so I can access it from my machine without having to RDP into the other machine. Because leaving the other machine's RDP port open is kind of a risk um, that I really don't want to take if I don't have to. Anyway, now it is lunchtime, it's 11.02, so I'm gonna go heat up my lunch and then we'll eat lunch. This is tacos, a bowl of tacos, rather, with just, it just has some like ground beef or turkey or whatever, some white beans and rice in it. And then I usually eat it with some chips. This is very accurate to what my day in life is because I pretty much eat this every day that I'm at work. researching open vast stuff um, trying to fix that problem I came across a thread on reddit in the r slash home lab community that listed a ton of tools and stuff that you could use and I discovered alien vault OSSIM it's from AT&T but it's an open source community thing um, it's basically like a Linux distro that has a whole bunch of tools in it so kind of like security onion but it also has open vast and doesn't have everything security onion has but it looks really cool, so I think I'm gonna install that on the server. So I gotta go get that server now and I'll bring it back in my office and plug it up and see what everything looks like. Here we have the service to Dell PowerEdge T110 II running a Intel Xeon processor. Hopefully we can get this thing up and running, Alien Vault OSSIM today before the end of the workday. Um, but if not, I'll be here tomorrow as well to work on it. But should take any longer than till the end of today. Hey guys, didn't see you there. Anyways, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. It's about three o'clock right now, which means that I'm just gonna say I'm done with this server for today. It's not working out very well. I haven't been able to get it to work, reload it with a different thing, AT&T's Alien Vault OSSIM, then learned that that requires two network interface cards, which I only have one of on this machine. So I'm gonna take the rest of the day and um, be reading that designing and, and building a security operations center book, take some notes on that, and then write up a justification for why we should purchase another vulnerability scanner, also known as Nessus Professional. So I'll put me a time lapse of me doing that, um, and then it'll be time to leave work in about an hour. it for my um, work day in the life I'll probably I might throw in some stuff that I do after work usually after I get home first thing I do is work out for about an hour I lift weights bodybuilding type stuff um, and then we'll have supper I'll play some football in the front yard 
and then go upstairs at home and just do whatever stuff on the computer, usually video editing or something like that, or just independent projects that I can't really do at work. But tonight we're going to go to a church that's hosting pickleball. It's kind of like a tennis and tennis and ping pong like mixed, but more so on the tennis side. It's just a bit smaller. I like it, it's fun. And we go there to play because that's the only place that has courts around here. And that's what we're gonna do tonight. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this channel if you want some cybersecurity, photography, videography, or tech related content as all of those types of content will be coming more in the future. Comment down below if you have any questions about any specifics that I do. Um, like I said, I'm an 18 year old cybersecurity professional in a very unique situation because I'm pretty much the only security person here. So obviously my duties will change as our security posture at the organization I'm at matures. Anyways, I'm Tao and I'll see you in the next video. So